Well, hello and welcome everybody to this episode today. We're going to be doing an in-depth look at the Enhanced Native Trainer, uh, a video that I posted back on how to install it. This is the video on how to use it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to bring up the trainer and we're going to look at the menu. So now we've got uh, the menu up, we can uh, control it with our controller up and down on the D-pad, and we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and start at the bottom and work up. Um, so the first one, reset all settings. So any settings that you've done, you may have messed it up, click that and reset it, job done. So that's pretty simple. Miscellaneous. This is a good one. A lot of people don't know about this. Uh, a lot of people say to me, uh, have said to me on uh, Twitter and everything, is that uh, their trainer is quite irritating and a bit clunky. Well, that's because they haven't done the trainer options. Uh, so if you go into the trainer options and you see this one here, lock controls whilst in menu, you want to click that because without that, and we press up on the D-pad, we bring our phone up. We can end up getting into cars. We can, it's not good. So what we'll do is we'll uh, get rid of the phone and uh, you lock controls whilst in the menu so now we can go up and we can do anything and we uh we can't move i'm even trying to move uh my player he will not move so all done which is brilliant uh then you've got turn off all control input in trainer that means you just uh completely disregard your xbox controller and use your keyboard i like to use both uh show vehicle previews what this means is if you um go into the vehicles and you see a vehicle you like it gives you a little kind of thumbnail of what the vehicle looks like which is pretty good this one i'm not quite sure what this one is uh, in includes whatever that name is extra scenery now i've not really used this that much and uh, i to kind of stay away from uh, crashes with textures and uh, bits and bobs i don't worry about it menu textures uh, again a lot of people have said that uh, they find it difficult to see as you can see here the menu sometimes especially if you're on a white background so you can go ahead and you can change all your colors with the uh, rgb settings uh, which is the new recent update in this one so that's brilliant so you could have the boxes kind of like a, a shade of like uh, black and the um like the title text being, I don't know, hot pink. So so it really kind of stands out in a good contrast. For me personally, it doesn't really bother me that much. I can see, I just have to kind of move it if I'm having problems and you can see what you're doing. So that's that. Uh, we'll come out of this one. Uh, you've got your portable radio. So this means you can listen to the radio even when you're not in a vehicle. You change the tracks, you can freeze the station so it doesn't change when you're accidentally using the D-pad. Um, and uh, you can always choose to have your radio always off if you want that type of thing in your life and no music and death and everything. I don't like that. You can also hide your, your HUD, which is your head ups display, which means it's perfect for taking uh, nice photos. So how about that? But uh, I don't take nice photos, so I'm going to have it on. Right, next is your objects, and this is your object spawners. Uh, so you can uh, spawn objects, you can save them, so you could even make a little uh, set. So if you wanted to make ramps up into the sky, and you quite uh, like the way that you've kind of set that all up, you can uh, save it, and then just uh, spawn the whole kind of multiple items uh, all as one. Um, and then you've got your spawn options, so you can have like your things that are invincible, so like gas tankers, they won't blow up. Um, you can have it immovable, so you could have, like say for instance, the undestroyable train you could put that on the tracks put it immovable and then you can make a lovely video on youtube of how the train finally met its match uh does the object have gravity well of course and the uh opacity um which is how dark it is and see-through so we just leave that as normal um, you can edit your spawn objects and you can check your limit, uh, which is zero out of possible 250. So that means you can have 250 spawned objects before you reach your limit. Um, I have none, but we'll just do one just to kind of give you an idea. So we could uh, spawn a cabbage. Amazing. Or a cartwheel, which has destroyed the cabbage. Brilliant. So uh, a farm windmill. Perhaps we want to farm windmill here. There we go. That's brilliant. So now I could then go back into the uh, the options and choose if that's immovable. Or if it doesn't have gravity, I could uh, run it uh, over with a bus and watch it fly into space, which is brilliant. So it gives you a whole kind of eight pages, which you just go right or left. 
Um, and it gives you everything that you could possibly want, really. So signs, airport for sale sign. That's amazing. So we'll get rid of that. And uh, then you can remove all spawn objects. Job done. Back to zero. So that's the uh, the objects. Then you've got your time, which is a big important one for me when I do my LSPDFR vehicle, uh, videos. I sometimes like to change the time just to give it a bit of a mood. Um, so you can do, you know, set time to preset. Midnight, pre-dawn, dawn, morning, midday, uh, afternoon, sunset, and which is beautiful, by the way, and dusk. We're going to uh, leave it at midday. And uh, here you can find, tweak it, so if you want it, five extra minutes say for instance you are making a video and uh, you want to make a, a thumbnail and the way you're kind of standing is like presenting a beautiful kind of shadow on an object then you can you change it backwards and forwards and you can go the next day which to me makes no difference but there we go so now you can sync with system so uh, this kind of syncs with the real world so if you're uh, in Japan um, and you're playing at midnight and then you sync with system, it will be playing at midnight. If you're in it, Japan still playing in the morning, you sync with the system and it plays in the morning. For us here, it's uh, nearly uh, half past three. So that's all that done. Um, the next one is uh, the game speed. So this changes the speed of the game, which uh, basically means if you wanted to, say, for instance, um, make things go in ultra slow motion, then you just slow it down to 0 0.1 and everything goes as slow as I'm talking. So, uh, yeah, that was not funny at all, really, was it? <laughs> um, game speed whilst aiming. So you can change this. So, for, say, for instance, you're not a very good shot. You could slow it down to um, say that. And then when you... Uh, we'll, just, we'll do that now. And then we'll... Uh, I can't because I've got no blooming weapons so we'll just give all and then we will come out of that all right we've got a pistol we'll use the uh the glock 9 for what i installed this is uh, an added mod weapon but uh you can see it's normal time and we do that and everything goes slowly but i'm still able to uh to aim as fast as i want to aim which is gives a kind of a brilliant effect kind of help aid if you want to kill old uh, kill the old uh, eagles yeah so it doesn't when you shoot normally but as soon as you aim it then warps it into ultra slow motion and I'm even that bad a shot I can't even do it when I've uh, got the time adjusted so you can go to normal and then you go over to the page. Now this is normal time, so every 30 seconds is, uh, well, every second it passes 30 seconds of the game. Okay, so you, again, you can adjust that to however you want. I kind of do it 15 seconds per second. And uh, we'll come out of that view. There we go, that's better. Right, so that's that's the time sorted with, okay? I think we've all got that kind of under wraps. We can go into the world now. So we've got area effects, pedestrians, and uh, everyone permanently calm, so they'll never get angry with you. Everyone invincible. It doesn't matter how much you shoot them, they're not going to die. Everyone dies, it's like clicking your fingers and everyone just goes. Um, one I like to have fun with, which uh, if you really can't be bothered to kind of install the zombie mod, is uh, pretty much what you want is uh, Ped's Angry, Advanced Configuration. They all target me, include drivers and pilots. And uh, here we go. It gets messy. We get people starting to come after me. Like zombies, but they're more dangerous because uh, they ain't walking with a limp. So we'll uh, we'll change that. Uh, very quickly. There you go. We've just calmed him down. But as you can see, uh, that plane was actually going to target me. Um, which is a bit of a worry. Because that's a... Whacking great big bone 747. He needs to pull up. He really does. Yes, so uh, once you've done that, you can have a little play around and uh, we'll get everyone. Try and calm him down. It doesn't seem to work. But uh, yeah, you can have everyone kind of target you and bits and bobs. Then. Uh, oh, you can also change like uh, what they're armed with, like you know, small arms, melees. Well, I mean that guy's going to shoot me. I think. I'm not careful. 
uh, we will then go to the weather so you can uh, change the weather I like to have wind on but you can freeze the weather so it will stay the same no matter what which is really good for YouTube videos you can clear cloudy uh, smog foggy uh, overcast rain uh, then you can have a storm which looks beautiful at the city at night um, and you can move over so you can have it clear in uh, neutral which uh, seems to have messed up when you have it on something else but there we go uh, snow blizzard light snow have it Christmas or even Halloween uh, which gives it like a when you're in town a Halloween effect um, so we're gonna go to normal just like let's just say extra sunny um, so yeah that's that one you can have moon gravity so everyone kind of doesn't really have that much gravity it reduces the gravity like the moon um, no pedestrians which is brilliant you can put that on and there'll be no one walking uh, no traffic as you can see in the background, that vehicle just disappeared from thin air, which is amazing. I always have random cops, random trains, random boats, random garbage trucks, and restricted zones on, just um, to add a bit of variety into the game. You can also have blackouts. So, again, you can't really tell here, but um, when you're in the city or somewhere that's got light, you can do that, and it's like they've got no electricity. You can also have the heavy snow, or you can load an online map so you've got the proper bunkers and everything like that. You're doing the uh, is it the gun runner or whatever it is? I, I don't know. I don't play online, but uh, I think you get me drift. Uh, again, we've done the time, so we go up to vehicles. This is a good one. You've got the vehicle spawner, so you, it gives you a, a sub menu of different things you can choose. So, supercars, let's say we go to uh, that one. There we go. We've got this car, which is where well, it looks awful. Um, and that one, or that one, or that one. Or that one now unlike the object spawner there's no limit to what vehicles you can spawn in so you can spawn in all of them if you wanted to um, it would just stay as long as possible so we'll come out of there and we'll drive down to the bottom um, but what we're going to do before we drive down to the bottom actually I'm going to do a little trick now as you can see you've got saved vehicles which I've, uh, you might have seen on my previous vehicles got all my police vehicles that are saved so I don't have to uh, type them in manually you can fix them you can clean them you can also turn the awful radio off there we go there we go good lord yes so we've got uh, fix clean and then you can paint it however you like uh, you can add in dirt if you wanted to uh, your modifications there we go we've added all the modifications that can possible and armor and then you can like go into subfolders left and right to change how you want it so you could have neons or xenon lights or custom tires um, then you can change the plate text which that's got no front thing so the back there you can have it like you know Robbie or David or Peter whatever your name is I always have it Peter even though my name's not Peter so yeah vehicle in uh, invincibility this means no matter what you do it's not going to blow up dent scratch or anything which is brilliant no falling out of which again is brilliant you don't come out the windscreen don't wear a helmet, that's mainly for bikes, I don't really do that. Spawn into vehicles, and then you've got the speed boost, which I love. So we'll get that on, and we will do uh, engine multiplier, which is a lot of fun. Um, so we'll come out of there. And uh, as you can see, we've got quite a fast car just by accelerating. And that's just from accelerating, just for a couple of seconds. And we've gone absolutely miles. So, yeah. And then you can do speed boost, which is left bumper button and left brake. And as you can see, we are now uh, flying. Because that's the speed boost. We've put it to fastest in the world. You can have it just slightly or loads. So, um, yes, we've appeared to have blown up our vehicle, which is kind of the end of that. And then we're going to use another cheeky one, which is air brake mode. Air brake mode basically means you kind of fly about, which is done by right bumper button and A. Uh, but we're not going to do that. We're going to go click, say for instance, we'll click here, make a map on the, the marker. We'll right bumper button and Y. Oh no, we've got to come out of air brake mode. There we go. Locations, go to marker. Job done. It's that simple. So that's a slight little bit of info on the, the vehicles. Uh, so yeah, you can go fastest in the world. Uh, nothing can stop me, only when I'm moving. So it's gentle boost and everything. We'll move that down to a more realistic uh, 25. I prefer a little bit of extra boost, but nothing too much. 
So, um, yes, we've got bodyguards. You can support your bodyguards. Um, you can choose to um, have weapons. And what model? Um, so, for instance, you can either have Michael, um, Trevor, or anyone that's in the game. And you can have as many as you want. Um, and it's brilliant. You get infinite ammo. So, for instance, you spawn, say, six players from the main game and go out on for a little rampage. And uh, it really is quite a bit of fun. And that is a long skid mark I did. Good Lord. Yeah, and you can choose which weapons they have and everything. And if you get a bit bored of that, you just dismiss them. Job done. Uh, weapons. Uh, you saw a little bit of that one I did uh, earlier, but you can give all weapons like that. Add all weapons attachments. Remove all weapons attachments. Fill the ammo. Um, remove all ammo. Uh, add a parachute, which is always safe to have. Uh, you can give individual weapons. And uh, here's some fun things. Infinite ammo. No reload. They're all pretty good. Damage modifier. So you could technically kill someone with one bullet in the toenail if you move that all the way up to like I think it's about a thousand it goes up to um, yeah and you can have gravity gun which is pretty good it uses the stun gun you can shoot and it holds it in the air and you can throw the car away and yes yeah, like your own kind of death ray gun locations you saw that again you can select somewhere to go on the map so we'll go um, bum 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 we'll go here I don't know where there is. And we'll go to marker. Job done. We are there. Now, there's no traffic because uh, I killed the uh, the traffic earlier. And even though you reinstate it, it takes until you reload the game before it changes back to normal. Um, so I'd say that's the only downside to having no traffic is that you have to exit the game and then start the game back up again for it to, to work. So yeah, again, locations. You can go to last vehicle, uh, which I haven't got a vehicle because it up uh, chauffeur to marker so you can get someone to drive you there show your coordinates where you are um, your safe houses so it's got all the different types of safe houses and everything you can go inside uh, landmarks um, airport entrance it's pretty good it just takes a couple of seconds to, there we go to load um, and that's got 11 pages so there's the possibility is almost endless it really is um, and you can go to the extra sceneries, which has got like the uh, the aircraft carrier and uh, Fort Sankudu uh, UFO, which I won't do because uh, some of you may not have done that before, and it's uh, actually quite nice to kind of do. Um, and you can even go to a different world as well, actually, which is uh, North Yankton. There we go. It's where it all started for us back in 2013. I don't know about any of you, but I personally took two weeks off work on a holiday to play this game when it was on the Xbox 360, was it? Yeah, Xbox 360, and then I went to PlayStation 4, and this last year and a half, I've been doing it on PC and never looked back since from a uh, a gaming PC. So, yeah, anyway, I digress. Uh, and then you can uh, go to online maps, special actors and freak locations, uh, and then your player. You can change everything you want about your player. You can move cash, add wanted levels, freeze wanted levels, invincibility, please ignore you, which if you're playing LSPDFR, you do not have on, otherwise you will not get any backup or um, any help at all with the police. Uh, they will just kind of be a, a, a perfect kind of circle where they don't uh, come into and don't help you. So that's not good, really, is it? Uh, noiseless. I have no idea, apart from one little mission, when you have to go and knock out the uh, gardener, it's not worth it. Um, super jump, that's good fun. Um, fast run, they're all good. Uh, night vision, thermal, so we've got no one about, but uh, if someone was about, it would uh, show up like I would. Um, animations, so you can kind of change how you want your animation to kind of be. So my animations are play, uh, yeah that's a weird animation so yeah we'll uh we'll get rid of that <laughs> yeah so um that's that's your animations uh your play data or data uh you could change how much health you have so like so for instance it's got 200 points of health you could change that to 4,000 points of health so instead of being invincible you, the, the the health bar goes down a, a lot less um, and health regeneration rate, you can have it, you know, 200 times more. So as soon as someone shoots you in the head, it back up again, you, you won't die. So you can kind of see why this game is uh, not allowed in Grand Theft Auto Online, which is a shame if uh, I was allowed in and no one else was. But I suppose that's the reason why, because it's basically like 
god mode this uh enhanced native trainer so uh yes once again thank you very much for uh for watching i hope you've had a, a good time and it's been helpful at least i'm going to walk off into the distance at least make sure to like comment and subscribe and uh, i'll catch you guys again sometime soon thank you very much everybody and goodbye